हाय क्या कभी सोचा है कि द एनर्जी द मेन सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी वी कॉल या सन सन इज द मेन सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी लेकिन कभी ऐसा सोचा है कि फ्रॉम वेयर सन इज गेडिंग ए ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी दैट कंटिन्यूअसली डे बाय डे द सन इज गिविंग यू द एनर्जी हीट एनर्जी लाइट एनर्जी फ्रॉम वेयर सन इज गेडिंग दो एनर्जी और इफ आई आस्क यू अबाउट एन एटम एटम इज वेरी स्मॉल इट्स वी आर नॉट एबल टू सी एन एटम ओके थ्रू आवर नेकेडाइज इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल टू सी एन एटम इट्स सो टाइनी नाउ हाउ ए टाइनी एटम बिकम सो पॉवरफुल एंड इट मेक्स एटम बॉम यू नो द इफेक्ट ऑफ हिरोशमा नगसकी The effect of an atom is so powerful that we made atom bomb. Okay, I will tell you from where this sun is getting energy or how this atom bomb is so powerful. Actually, what do you know? We used to think. I am talking out like a, a long, long ago. We used to think that electromagnetic wave, sound wave. All these are energy. Yeah, of course, these are energy. But when Einstein said that that uh, say uh, this object, say this pen, okay, this pen, Einstein said that that this pen also can give you energy. Understood? Whether it is heat energy or something like that. this pen is also able to give you energy yes this theory was not acceptable that time okay that time other scientists said no we are not ready to accept that but later on everyone has to accept this theory understood which has changed the whole physics that is called mass energy relationship E equal to m c square. I will tell you the equation. Equation is E equal to m c square. Okay. Now what is E? E is energy. What is m? M is mass. What is c? C is the velocity of light. Three into ten to the power eight meter per second. Okay. That is the velocity of light. Okay, so if you want to find out the energy from of this pen, from what we are the energy now, actually, see, just imagine that we have got a machine. Okay, I'm saying you just imagine that we have got a machine, and in that machine, that machine is capable of taking out the whole energy from this pen. then how much energy you will get from this pen by using this equation easily you can calculate that okay now let's back to the first example sun from where it's getting energy actually you know what in sun okay inside sun hydrogen and hydrogen yeah hydrogen molecule and hydrogen molecule are continuously adding and forming helium molecules understood i repeat hydrogen molecule hydrogen molecule are continuously adding and forming helium molecules inside sun continuously this process is going on now i'll give you an example like uh say hydrogen say 5 g of hydrogen and 5 g of hydrogen okay adding so what do you got 10 g of helium molecule you should get but you will not get 10 g of helium molecule you will get something like say 9.8 mg of or uh, uh, like 5 uh, g sorry i i took 5 g hydrogen and 5 g hydrogen if they are adding and you should get 10 g of helium but instead of getting 10 g of helium you will get like 9.8 g of helium okay so where that 0.2 mg has got or sorry 0.2 g has got you understood hydrogen hydrogen are adding 5 g 5 g adding 10 g you should get but you are getting 9.8 g so where this 0.2 g 
gram has gone that 0.2 gram is converting into energy understood that 0.2 gram is converting into energy which we can calculate that amount of energy can be calculated by this equation einstein's equation the great equation e equal to mc square you must remember this relation okay now i will tell you that the numericals which are related to, which are important for our exams okay exams schools exams or board exams the important numericals related to e equal to mc square but before starting those numericals i will tell you that what are the units required here okay and what are the possible units of mass like always we will use the mass as kg or sometimes amu atomic mass unit atomic mass unit also you can use or you use kg okay and what are the energy unit of energy joule unit of energy is joule another unit of energy is electron volt eb okay small e capital v electron volt or mega electron volt like this mega electron volt okay all these three units are of energy these two units are of mass got it now say as i was telling you that say 5 gram of hydrogen 5 gram of hydrogen are adding and we are getting 10 gram of helium no we are not getting 10 gram of helium we are getting say 9.8 gram of helium okay so how much mass is decreased 0 0.2 gram is decreased so here mass is here mass is 0 0.2 gram we'll find the energy equivalent to this mass how should we calculate c equal to mc square we know this relation m m is mass 0 0.2 gram i have to convert it into kg so mass is 0 0.2 by 1000 okay gram to kg into velocity of light 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second whole square okay done so in this way whatever you will get will get in joule correct after calculation whatever we will get we will get in joule now from joule if you want to convert into electron volt okay from joule to convert it into electron volt then we will write 0 0.2 by 1000 into 3 into 10 to the power 8 whole square by by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 okay this is the way we can convert it into electron volt understood electron volt 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 is what yes charge of one electron charge of one electron by this we will divide it we will get it into electron volt got it after that now i want to convert this electron volt into mega electron volt okay electron volt to mega electron volt just what i have to do i will write the same thing 3 into 10 to the power 8 volt square by 1000 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 into 10 to the power 6 again you have to divide by 10 to the power 6 then the unit will be mega electron volt okay so first it was joule then electron volt then mega electron volt now you have to calculate this after calculating this you will get the result which will be in mega electron volt okay so now in exam in exam if you are asked to find the energy in joule then this much you have to okay joule if you ask to find in electron volt then this one this much you have to do if you ask to find mega electron volt this one you have to do complete one okay this one 
So we have discussed all this unit except AMU, atomic mass unit. Actually, in some questions, atomic mass unit is given. The mass is given in atomic mass unit. Mass is not given in gram. If mass is given in gram, we can convert it into kg. But if the mass is given in AMU, then we have to convert this AMU into kg. Okay. AMU to kg we have to convert. I will tell you the relation. AMU to kg. You have to convert. What you have to do? 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 27. You have to multiply to convert AMU to kg. Okay. So, like here I am doing, like if I give you say 0 0.2 AMU, 0 0.2 AMU means 0 0.2 into 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 27, this kg you got. So now mass is in kg, that mass you put here and calculate in the same way, okay. So this is the numerical and uh, if the mass is in AMU, then from AMU you can convert it into kg. How? Just multiply 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 27. Minus 27. So that will give you the mass in kg. After that you follow the same process. Okay. So now it's clear how sun is getting those huge amount of energy. Yes. So how much mass is decreased? That mass is converted into Yes, energy, huge energy. Even the same formula works in atom bomb. And you have got that idea that how atom bomb is giving such a huge amount of energy. Okay, it's so effective. So I hope this numerical is clear to you. Okay, so we'll next meet in the next video. Thank you all.